Good morning everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and we're gonna spend the day together because I woke up this morning and just felt kind of inspired to pick up the camera. I don't know what it was, but I felt like I wanted to vlog, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I have got no idea what is on the agenda for today. I am working, it is a Monday, it's gonna be a good day. However, my hair is kind of giving me some issues. I went to curl it this morning and I don't know if, comment down below, I just feel like for some reason, it was so clean. I washed it last night and it just, I feel like it's frizzy. I used my living proof like defrizz spray, but the windows are open. It's a little bit of like a more, I don't want to say like, I mean, it is dreary, but it's like a gray day. It's been kind of rainy. I wonder if just the weather is not like cooperating super well with my hair. So today is an average hair day. It's definitely not my favorite and the next two or three days is when I'll actually like it because it'll be dirty So I'll try my best to stop playing with it But no promises because that's literally all I do when I'm vlogging and don't like my hair as I fuck with my hair But welcome to the channel. Welcome to the daily vlog We're gonna spend the day together and I've also got my little 25th anniversary Walt Disney World cake castle mug today because we were in need of a little magic I guess you could say. I love this mug, I haven't used it yet since we've been back home because I just bought it recently on our last trip, so I'm excited to use it today. But let's spend the day together. I feel like I'm having a little bit of a chaotic morning. Hair is kind of frizzy, but it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm excited to vlog. I The one thing I know that I'm gonna share with you guys today is I ended up shopping the Sephora sale yesterday. I went a little overboard, but honestly, it's like the one sale of the year that I don't mind spending a ton of money because to be honest with you, they're products that I use and if I can get things that I use every day that are more expensive, 20% off, then I'm definitely gonna do that. So we'll go through what I bought at the Sephora sale. I am working today and we're just gonna get some things done, but I made myself a nice little coffee. Let's see what we get up to today. This is just gonna be a nice little daily vlog and Let's get into it, happy Monday. Also for happy Monday, I bought flowers yesterday at Trader Joe's when Corey and I did some grocery shopping. We're also listening to a podcast on the A-L-E-X-A home. If you don't have one of these, it's the best thing ever. I've got my little candle, but I love fresh flowers. I've gotta start getting some fresh flowers in the office, but I love making little flower arrangements. This one is just these like white flowers, and then I just bought some eucalyptus because I like the smell. Normally I'll go a little bit more like crazy with the flower bouquets. Comment down below if you want to see a video of me doing some of like my floral arrangements because I feel like it's a hobby of mine, but we've got some pretty fresh flowers and now we're going to listen to our little podcast and start the work day. So it is 12.02. It is time for some lunch. So let me show you. I get a lot of questions on my lunch and eating and stuff and like I think you should just eat whatever you fucking feel like because some days I want like a big lunch, some days I don't, some days I feel like ordering McDonald's, some days I feel like having, you know, my kale salad, which I actually don't even like kale that much. But let me show you what I'm having for lunch today. It is some leftovers, but there's one thing that Corey and I get every single week religiously and it is like the best healthy eating delicious hack ever. So I am having for lunch today, rotisserie chicken. This is a ton of rice. I know it was left over. However, in the Tupperware, it didn't look like that much, but I'll eat it because rice is my favorite. And then I made myself just a little side salad. And then Corey's doing the same thing, side salad with chicken, some vitamin water. And then you're doing a new thing, which I mean, people can know, but I know you're eating. Corey's doing this thing right now where he is kind of dieting, but not dieting too much, but just eating smaller meals with higher protein and less carb. Did I get that pretty much right? Yeah. yeah. So, so as you can see, the salad is peering. It is really small for you. But when I went on like my immense health kick and like weight loss journey back um, in the summer between my junior and senior year of college, one of my favorite snacks. And I which know, this is so nasty. It's Sounds terribly gross on paper, but it's absolutely delicious. It's a can of tuna with half a cup of cottage cheese and spinach. Gross. And that's what I'm going to have at around like 3 o'clock, 3.30. But like that was my favorite thing to eat always. And I always say to Brianna, even even when I wasn't dieting, that was the snack I missed the most. And, and it's awesome. That's just so funny because it's nasty. But we're having some lunch together. Like I always say, if you can get away from your desk for lunch, if you're working from home with someone, it feels just nice to be away from the desk. We're watching our favorite travel vloggers, Jessica and Tyler. I can have Tyler's YouTube channel linked down below. They go to Disney a lot. They travel a lot together. And Jessica also has her own YouTube channel, not related, but I'll tag both their channels down below. We always watch them together. So we're having some lunch right now and then it'll be back to work. We are back in my room because we just finished up lunch, but my hair is not herring today. It is, I think it might be too clean. I like, 
I didn't separate it when I curled it today, but I just feel like, I don't know, I, I have naturally like curly slash wavy hair. I used to have really, really tight curls, then I kind of lost them because I put so much heat on my hair. Then through COVID, I ended up kind of like regaining my like Shirley Temple tight curls back. And then I had them for about four-ish months and then I kept doing some more heat and now I feel like they're gone. However, I still have like, I don't know if you can really tell, but like see how there's like the, you know, bumps up here and like under here there's these nicks, right? Like even a little bit right here. It is just because I have more like curly hair. And so because of that, when I go to curl my actual hair, I've got some damage. We've got some like growth happening from break, broke, broke, <laughs> from braked hair, broke hair, whatever I'm trying to say. But at the end of the day, today's hair is just, it's not giving. However, I know for a fact that tomorrow my hair is going to be a million times better and I'm going to love it because it's going to be dirty. So it means that when I like sleep on it tonight, it's just going to be better. I also think that like the weather is not really doing my hair justice today because it's really like rainy and gloomy out, which I actually kind of like a rainy gloomy day sometimes. And and I think that just the windows open and the change in weather and I don't know whatever is going on with my hair like I even gave it a hydration mask yesterday and it still even feels kind of dry so I don't really know comment down below any of your favorite hair products that you like to use in your hair if you have curly hair straight hair shampoo recommendations heat protectants any hair oils products conditioners shampoos anything that you like in your hair because I'd love to maybe try out some new things because I'm just wondering if my hair is either sick of everything that I've been using and it needs a little bit of re -zhuzhing. I have the Moroccan oil shampoo. I'm going to try that the next time I take a shower. I've been using and loving the Amika shampoo. I've been using that for years. So maybe my hair just like needs a change up. We need some niceness or some change, but zipping up because I actually... I'm a little chilly. I really would love to make an afternoon coffee, but I kind of like nuked my coffee all morning and I just finished it and I feel like I haven't drank any water. Let me get my Stanley because I feel like I don't even want to have my diet soda until I have a little bit more of my water because I have not been drinking nearly enough water since being back in Connecticut and coming home from Florida. When you're hot, it's easier to drink like cold water and like enjoy water all day. When I'm here and I'm cold, I don't want to drink cold water, but I don't like room temperature water. So whatever. Anyway, this is getting a little bit long. The whole reason why we're chatting is because this whole bag is full to the brim of stuff that I got at the Sephora sale. And so I wanted to share what I got. And let me just start out by saying this is something that really bothers me about social media and like what is happening online. Let me just close the door because I know Corey has a call. BRB. Like I was saying, and again, I told you today I was going to be playing with my hair until I found a good spot for it, which I just am not. But anyway, like I was saying, I think the thing that I dislike about social media is this idea to mass purchase when there is a sale going on if you don't actually need anything. So like, for example, I'm someone that really enjoys makeup. I really enjoy buying makeup from Sephora. I really enjoy using like, I don't want to say better because I don't think that drugstore products are bad for your skin, but I've just found like three holy grails that work for me time and time again. And as someone with like eczema around my mouth and on my eyelid and on my neck, I have to be just really careful of what I put on my skin, right? And I found something that works for me and so I use what I like, but I feel like every time the Sephora sale happens, there's this overarching theme of like, okay, buy a hundred things because it's 20% off. And it's like, well, no, because you're going to spend more than you'd ever spend anyway because you're trying to save money and it's a time to save. The reason why I love and always shop the Sephora sale, it is a time where I rebuy anything that's empty or I buy my trial size or travel size products. That is like what I use the Sephora sale for and I like to limit myself to two or three new things when the Sephora sale comes out because I like using makeup and I like using Sephora. So I wanted to put a disclaimer. Don't feel like you have to buy 150 things from Sephora. Don't feel like you need to have this massive makeup collection or only shop at Sephora or shop at Ulta. Like, shop where you want, buy what you want. Who the fuck cares? It is what it is. But anyway, we've got a Sephora haul. So, 
I am just gonna take things out of the bag and we'll go through it together. So, first and foremost, I bought the First Aid Beauty Hydrating Duo. So this is the Ultra Repair Cream in the big value size and small size. So this was honestly probably one of my favorite things that Corey and I got. So it values at $66. It was on, not on sale, but like this value box goes for $46 and then I got 20% off. And we use the Ultra Repair Cream to travel and then we use the bigger one for our face lotion so that actually was a really good deal over getting them separately so I'm very happy about that I stocked up on my Amica soul food nourishing mask they sell this in a big size I don't feel like I actually go through hair masks that fast nor do I need something that large the other thing is because I'm someone that travels a lot either you know, back and forth from Rhode Island to see Corey's family, to Boston for work once in a while, and to Disney and just international a lot. I love traveling with a hair mask, and I like this one in particular because I think it's very nourishing, and I just very much so like it, and I always buy the mini size because then I can travel with it. I also got the full-size Whey leave-in conditioner. I have been using this for years. It's a holy grail product. I love it. Maybe, is that why my hair's dry? I don't think I put this in yesterday after I showered okay maybe that's what it is either way regardless i needed a full size because i ran out of my full size about two months ago but i had an additional like little travel size one so i was using that until it was empty and i have a full travel size one that i just recently bought so got the big one during the sale and then i actually just finished out of my travel size one so i needed another one of the way detox shampoo i love this shampoo you all know that i'm a girly for the slick back bun and all of that like paste gets really like gunked and caked on the top of my head and so normally once a week if not once I use the paste on my hair I always go in and like scrub my scalp with that detoxing shampoo because I think it is just like the best of the best I've never found anything that gets the gunk out like that and it really does strip your hair so every time I do that I shampoo again and then like with a regular shampoo and then I normally go in with a hair mask so then I went ahead and also replenished my unseen sunscreen from Supergoop wear it every day i love the way it feels on my skin it's just like you just it's undetectable you never know it's there and it's important to wear sunscreen every day then i also got the b hydra intensive hydration serum from drunk elephant i love this stuff it is pricey i think it's 50 dollars. however i go through one of these every few months i love them i use it religiously and it's honestly something that my skin has really fared well with and really liked so I'm very glad that I still have it and still use it and to me it's worth every penny because it just works for my skin and having eczema I like a lot of moisture on my skin and always trying to be hydrated so I like that and I use it then Corey and I went ahead and got the pure skin face cleanser in the big size and the travel size from first aid beauty I love my Tula cleanser I have that as well so that is gonna go in the shower and then I use this one as well so whichever one I'm in the mood for but this is the one that Corey uses and then because we're we're going back to Disney and we're traveling to Europe this summer. I got the travel size, especially to be 20% off so that we can take it with us and we don't need to worry about buying it when it's full price. We can get it 20% off. And then I ended up replenishing this because I was out of it and I needed it. It is the Frizz Instant Defrizzer from Living Proof. Now, I put this on my hair today and let me tell you, I do think that it got rid of a lot of that frizz. I just really believe that it's because of like the yuckiness that's going on in the air. But this is amazing. I wanted the full size bottle, but they only have the small, which I think is fine. This says it's a dry conditioning spray. So I use this in my hair as well, which I really like. And then last thing in terms of like hair and skin, that is not makeup. Like I said, I actually didn't get too, too much makeup from the sale because I have so much already. I ended up wanting to try this Color Wow Dream Coat for Curly Hair Moisture Mist. Jessica Braun and... I think it was another girl on YouTube mentioned this and people have been raving about this. So basically the directions say that after you shampoo and conditioner, you spray this in your hair and then it's supposed to be nice for your hair, dream coat. So we're gonna try, like I said, I wanted to just try a few like different things. Also, hold on, my camera battery is gonna die. Okay, new camera battery. Don't know if the lighting or the angle or whatever changed, but anyway, Color Wow Dream Coat. I'm excited to try this because like I said, I've been wanting to try some new things for my hair. So I bought this to try. Everything else is truly just a replenish of things that I use. However, I do have a new like shampoo and conditioner I'm ready to try, but again, comment down below anything that you like for your hair. 
So now let's get into what I got for beauty. Again, a lot of this is just replenish and or travel size things. So the first thing that I actually ended up getting with my points was this Charlotte Tilbury, the award-winning beauty icons. It came with Charlotte's Magic Eye Cream, the Magic Serum, and then a Revolution Matte Pillow Talk in shade Medium. So this is just a really cute box that I ended up getting from Sephora. And I've always wanted to try the Magic Cream, but it's super expensive. And then I love a little travel size lippy. So I'm very happy that I went ahead and used my points for that. Then I went ahead and got my summer shade in the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I love this foundation on my skin. I feel like it is absolutely beautiful. It's the one thing I reach for constantly. But the bigger foundations, they are expensive. It's $70 for the big foundation. And being someone that like works from home and like doesn't really go anywhere, and if I do go anywhere, it's like international and I normally don't take a full size product. I just feel like the Luminous Silk is in the travel size smarter. So I ended up getting 6.5. I'm normally shade six. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be dark enough. We did color swatch in the store. So I'm hoping that this will be, I feel like that actually is a pretty good shade match considering if you look at like my dark hand, even that looks light. So let's see, I feel like I've got some hard times trying to find a shade, but I wanted to get this in the travel size. And because I've really been enjoying the Summer Fridays sheer skin tint, like I'm becoming very much into that over thick foundation. So I didn't really want to get a big size. Then everything, oh, this is one thing that, I'll go through the travel size and then the one thing that's not travel size. So I went ahead, oh no, that's not travel size. There we go. So I got three things additionally makeup wise that are travel size for this summer for Disney and just like bringing things traveling. So I got my Lancome eyelash primer in the white travel size. So I use that literally every day. And then I got my Idol Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara from Lancome as well, again, in a travel size. And then my last travel size was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I think that if you are someone that travels a lot, you travel frequently, you are going back and forth places. If you even just slightly need some things, I recommend using the Sephora sale to actually buy your travel size goodies, right? You get 20% off everything that you're trying to buy. And if you're also someone that doesn't wear a ton of makeup, it is nice to start with the travel size or the trial size. I think that that's like the smartest thing. And then these are the two new makeup products that I got from the sale again. Everything else that I bought from the sale is like my tried and true and things that I repurchase every time the sale comes around because it saves me a hundred dollars normally every time that the sale comes around. The next things that I got were the Benetint Rose Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. People have been raving about this product. So I was really, really excited to try this. And then the next thing that I got was the NARS Air Map. Oh, did, oh no. Did I buy the wrong thing? I knew I bought the wrong thing. I literally knew it because yesterday when I went to check out, or yesterday when I was checking out at Sephora, this popped up on my Sephora app after I had bought it. And I was like, wait, no, that's not what I ordered. Like I ordered something else. Ugh. All right, well that means I'm gonna have to go back and return this. But I wanted the long lasting power matte lip from NARS in the shade Dragon Girl because it is a beautiful red and Jessica Braun has been talking about it. And I love a red lip, however, I am i don't like an orange red, I like a cool toned red and that was a cool tone. So this needs to go back because I don't want this like air matte lip color, I want the power matte, like it's a, just a different formula, it's not a liquid, it's a solid. So that needs to go back, thank goodness I still have my receipts because that will need to be a project for Saturday when Corey and I head to Rhode Island. There's a Sephora that I need to go to to pick up a few things anyway. And then I did order a few more things from Sephora that they didn't have actually in stock in store. So I can share those when they actually come in the mail. But that's everything that I got from the Sephora sale. I can share my total because I don't really mind sharing. Let me see if this was the receipt. Okay, so everything there except for the Hydrating Lotion Duo, which was from Corey's receipt, totaled to $276.51. And without the discount, I don't remember exactly what it was because it's not, oh, yes it does. It says you saved $65. So I saved $65, which is the price of like two of my full products that I paid for. So during the Sephora sale, I really like to use it to stock up try a few new little things and buy a lot of my travel size products because in theory, all of these things that are like my travel size, I'm just holding them up. I also like 
just feel that this is the perfect time to get some of those travel size things or things that you want to try to get them in the travel size you know these mascaras in the Lancome you know lash booster and the brow gels they're all like 10 12 9 dollars uh, my foundation is 45 travel size which is a lot but it works for my skin and i like to spend the money on it because i like it so it is what it is however that's kind of what I use the Sephora sale for. I know a lot of people like to buy a lot more from the Sephora sale. They like to try a bunch of different things. I'm more of a restock on my basics that I know that I love. Try two to five new beauty products that I have wanted to try that I didn't want to spend full price on and then restock up on all my travel size products. So that's really what I like to use the Sephora sale for. I really enjoy it. I like the Sephora sale. I'm glad that it's happening, but it is 12.50, so I'm going to go sit back down at my desk because I have a little bit of a busier afternoon, but that's what I got from the Sephora sale, wanted to share, and we'll check in a little bit later because I got to get back to my desk, get some work done and some organization, but it's been a good day. I kind of like, Corey and I were talking about this at lunch, I kind of like a gloomy work day. I feel like it doesn't make me want to be outside running around not working. So I think it makes me sometimes more productive. We got a candle going in the office, like the office vibes are strong. And I don't have a meeting for a little while, so I might watch a little bit of YouTube while I get some emails done. So back to the office we go. In the office, Corey's behind me working. He just finished up a work call. I was like literally just about to vlog and then the guy that was coming into his call like showed up. So we also did a little something with the hair. I'm not like sold on it that I love it, but I like that it's down and that it's out of my face. And I saw Emily Emil, I forget her name on TikTok. I can't even tell if you guys could see it, but it's got like a little bit of a bump. Little curls. So it looked cute in a picture for the thumbnail. So we love that. However, it is 2.59. I'm about to go into my meeting. But what I was going to vlog was I wanted to do a quick little check-in on my monthly goals. I think this is something that I would really like to start implementing about halfway through the month. Just even taking obviously not right now because I have to hop into a meeting at three, but taking five to ten minutes for a goal check-in. So I'm gonna do it now because I do have like a little bit of time, but so let's look at my April goals. I've got four categories, which was wellness, financial, social media, and personal. In the wellness category, 30 outside hours, two walks per week, two new recipes, and a face mask every week. Falling short on some of those goals, so definitely need to focus in on the wellness category. Financial, $300 in my emergency fund, $200 in Disney gift cards, mindful spending, and $500 in the wedding fund. I've actually got a good amount of these goals like done and accomplished, so that feels really good. Social media, four photo dumps on Instagram, two reels on Instagram, no phone past 9 a.m. on Sundays, and brainstorm new podcast page. Some things are happening, some things are not happening. So I definitely need to bring that back to the forefront of my brain. And then my personal two physical books, single with friends, at home date night times two, and new coffee shop. Not on track with any of that. So Corey and I actually can talk about an at home date night maybe for this week or next week so we can get that done because I do want to hit that goal this month. But it is three o'clock. I am jumping into my meeting. Little quick goal check in though. I think it is so important to be like checking in on your goals and making sure that you're actually accomplishing them because I don't want to just set goals and then haphazardly at the end of the month check in and be like, oh, I miss those. Like I actually want to be a little bit more thoughtful. So I'm jumping into my three o'clock meeting right now. And then I also got a package. So we'll unbox something because when is something not coming to the front door of this house? However, Let's jump into my meeting and then we'll unbox a package. And just like that, it is 5.17, so the end of the workday. Thank goodness I am like, it was a busy end of the day Monday. I feel like I got a lot done today, very productive, which is great. But I wanted to share just a few things that I do when I'm like done with the workday. Because Corey and I are really grateful to have an office space and we're not working in a living room or a kitchen. We have like a full on office space, also this hair today. Um, it just feels really nice to do a few things that like really signal the workday ending so the first thing is I always cap a candle because we normally have a candle burning I physically close the windows it's been so nice today so I've had the windows open all day to have some fresh air so I need to close the windows I will always close the blinds as well and then I will make sure to like reorganize everything on my desk so I take out like my phone I put my like chapstick away my pens away my notebooks will get reorganized so that when I come in in the morning Everything's organized and good and ready to go. So I'm gonna close the blinds, close the windows, cap the candle, organize my desk, and then we have a fun little unboxing, little package, because I got some stuff in for our Disney trip in the next three weeks in from the mail from Adelaide's four. I ordered another package from them. 
So we've got some fun stuff to open, so let's close up the office and then we're gonna unbox some fun stuff from Adelaide's Fort. What even? What is happening today? I feel like, okay, here's the thing with my hair, right? For some reason, I don't know, if you're a hairdresser or something, please comment down below. And if you're not a hairdresser, maybe you have had experience. I have no idea if this is damage that is regrowing or if it's damage that I'm doing now, or if it's like some baby hairs, but I don't even think it's that because this has like always kind of happened, but not in such a drastic way. And I've got my little like cute little bunny clip. I can actually share with you how I did it. I don't, listen, we've already known I've had a hair day today. So we'll do it from, I guess the back. I'll see if maybe, hopefully this works. I obviously can't see it, but. Basically what I did was I just kind of like ran my fingers through my hair, got it pretty smooth in terms of just like being able to grab it. And then I took my thumbs and put them right on the top of my cheekbone, like right, like on your kind of like lower mid temple, like right above your ear. And then I took my thumb and brought it almost at like a triangle until I felt like my fingers were touching. And then I took this hair and then I gave it because I have thinner hair. I just gave it kind of like a one and a quick half swirl and then I took my claw clip and just poop. I mean, that's what I did. I don't actually know if that one is as cute as the one I did earlier on today. Let's see, I'll even take a picture of it. Like in the, well, I guess I'll have to do it like this, right? Like, let's see. Oh God, that one's not that cute. So let's try again. But anyway, that's really how I did it. I just kind of like ran my fingers through, got some of the hair, and then I just kind of made it into a little poof. Let's see if I do it maybe with no part in the middle. You know what? Who knows? Who cares? I feel like everyone on social media is like, do all these cute hair things. Do all these cute things to your hair. And I'm like, I feel like I have literally no hair all of a sudden. Like for the last like three years, I feel like my hair just is thinning. So you know what? We're putting this into a claw clip messy bun and that's just what we're gonna do and it's gonna look whack and you know what? That's fine. So, actually, you know what? Wait. We tried again. Some of those little flyaways are a little more tamed and 360, moment for the hair. I don't even know if it is looking good, but regardless, it's there, it's pulled back, it looks way cuter, at least in the mirror from what I can see. So, we've got a package from Adelaide's Fort. I am very, very excited about this package. So, I have been getting some new things for our Disney trip in May, and just kind of in general, I think over the last two-ish years, I've kind of found my Disney style, which is really just kind of like bike shorts and a big oversized t-shirt. However, I found that I had like some Disney t-shirts, but they weren't very generic that I could wear them in any park. It was either Magic Kingdom or like like no other park. You know what I mean? It was just, that was kind of how it was. So I ended up just getting two new t-shirts, which I am very excited about. And they always come with like a cute little card. It says, you have badass taste. Thanks very much. So I ended up getting two shirts. I got them both in a large to be oversized, right? Yeah, these are... Los Angeles apparel tees. I love them. I think they're so cute. This first one says out of the office, busy at the park. So really cute and it's black, but it's a little bit like acid wash, which I really like. And then on the back, it says self care park edition. And it says, take the day off, stay hydrated, ra hydrated, ride your favorite ride, get a coffee, buy some ears, walk down main street, get yourself a churro, watch the parade, make new friends while waiting in lines, take some photos, visit your favorite land, stay for the fireworks and come back again. So I guess you could say this is a little bit more of like a magic kingdom shirt because it's like talking about main street. It's talking about a churro. It's talking about those things, but I just think it's cute and the front is adorable and I feel like I could wear that into any park. And then another black t-shirt because what else? I love this one. It says, buy some ears, eat a churro, ride some rides. And on the back it says, park rides and good vibes. This one I almost like, I don't know if I necessarily love it more, but the green is very much out of my comfort zone. Like if you know me, I'm just like a black and white, gray, beige, taupe kind of gal, which is okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just have never been someone who 
like dyes and like loves over color so I actually really like that and then lastly I ended up getting this too it's not a shirt but it is something extremely cute that I'm very excited about it came back in stock and I was literally so 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 excited about it and it is this cute little let's see if I can rip. oh it's so cute oh, I'm so glad I ended up getting it so it is a oh it's kind of dirty okay I'm gonna have to hand wash that and does it have a scratch what is Okay, so I will say Adelaide's for I really love your stuff, but like this cup did come pretty like dirty and kind of gross. So I need to hand wash it, but it, it is what it is. It's packaged in bubble wrap, but I'm just saying regardless. So it says, welcome to the most magical place on earth. And then it has all of the lands. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So it has like frontier land. I think that says adventure land, Liberty Square with Haunted Mansion, Main Street, USA. And I feel like this is the perfect little iced coffee or like beverageino cup. So I'm very happy that I got that. And it is really good quality. Very, very thick. I will say though, I do just wish that they did a better job of like cleaning it and sending it because it's got like some like sticky stuff on it. And it's kind of like, like not musty, but it's got like a light film around it. So like, just wish that that was better. But 10 out of 10 package, because I love the shirts as always. But it is now time to head out to dinner with my mom. We are going to a place in Enfield, Connecticut called Acapulco. It is like a Mexican restaurant that she was really excited about going to. And I am as well, like I'm excited to eat that. So I need to take off my slippers because I don't want to go out with my slippers on. I mean, I normally would, but I didn't feel like it today. So I'm gonna throw on a quick little pair of sneakers, grab my purse, and then we are headed out to dinner. And then we'll be back home. I just started a new book, The Wife Upstairs. It's pretty good so far. I've read about four or five chapters and I'm excited to get into it because it's supposed to be a pretty good thriller. So I'm hoping it's good. Starting out a little slow, but I'm hoping it picks up in the next few chapters. So I'm gonna change. We're gonna head to Acapulco and then I'll chat with you guys. And just like that, another day has come and gone. So my mom and I actually ended up going to a Mexican place in Enfield, Connecticut called Acapulco. It was actually really really good i will say though i we ended up getting the nachos and i like for some reason read it and was assuming it was going to be like regular beans but they were actually refried beans so i wish that i had asked for that without it because i don't like those so i had to kind of like scrape it off but overall the food was like delish it was really really good and it was nice to spend some quality time with my mom and then she had to run a quick errand so then we ran her errand but where her errand was that she needed to run was right down the street from like one of our new favorite ice cream places and now that it's like summer but like not summer we love getting soft serve together so we went and got some ice cream together which was really nice and then we were shopping for some engagement dresses i'm gonna actually pick up this vlog tomorrow and talk a little bit more about like why i am shopping for some engagement dresses it'll be really fun i'm gonna vlog this whole like upcoming process of what's going on but i will share that with you all tomorrow and then we ended up coming back we watched some tv we relaxed and now it's 10 15 cory is playing cards with all the guys on my mom's side of the family they all get together like once a month and play cards or go play pool or like go out for beers or something so he's at my cc's house right now playing cards with my uncle creighton my brother and then two of my cousins husbands and they're all hanging out relaxing having a little guys night which is nice and it was nice to get some like i don't want to say alone time but like quality time with my mom. I think that was really nice. So is anyone else allergies? Like my allergies are literally kicking my ass. I wake up every morning with like sticky dry eyes and I'm like, oh, this is like no fun. But either way, it's been a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to pick up like a weekly vlog tomorrow, which will be very nice, very fun. And yeah, I'm just going to watch some YouTube in bed. I'm going to watch some Jessica Braun, my favorite gal, because she's posted some videos and I just like I love her and I'm ready to relax and chill before bed. So, good night. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.